hello everyone and welcome back to my channel now i'm in the middle of making this blanket and i thought that you would like to see it before i've even finished it so that you could start making one as well this is a super simple stitch and i'm calling this my man blanket <laughs> it's the first time i've actually made a blanket for a man and um, <laughs> So very few people do things aimed at men. They'll do hats and scarves and things. But most of the blankets that you see on YouTube are they're actually put up there for, for children, for babies, for ladies. Um, but there's very, very few that are just there to say, look, you can make this for a man as well. And this stitch is super easy. I love this yarn. Now, I got this sent to me. This is a twisted, and it says it's a jean yarn. Um, there's no manufacturer on it either. But uh, anyway, it's really pretty, and I've got 400 grams of this. If you're in the UK, we go by the weight of a ball. So I'm using 400 grams to do this lap blanket. There's 200 metres in this. That's 218 yards if you go by the yardage. So I'm going to use four balls. So I've got all of this. It's quite large. It's quite wide. I'm doing it this way, but it's actually going to be sideways on for the design like this i think it looks like little brickwork i have done this stitch before lots and lots of times i've done baby blankets in this a lot as well especially when it's turned this way it's a lovely stitch it's quite a manly stitch as well it's a nice thick stitch too nice for making blankets so what i'm going to do is i am going to show you how to do this front and back post stitch to make a man blanket <laughs> it's about time somebody put some blankets on youtube and just called them man blankets so i'll get on with this and i'll show you how to do this incredibly easy even if you're a beginner a really really easy stitch for a blanket So for the man, the man blanket, nobody does blankets for men on YouTube. Lots of the blankets are all for babies, uh, children um, and ladies. Anyway, you can actually just make them for yourself. So for the sample that I'm doing, I'm going to use this. This is Wendy Aurora. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour of yarn. It's absolutely beautiful. So this pattern, there is no stitch count no stitch count do the chain to the length or the width that you want the blanket to be now it is the middle of january already my goodness but it is sunny outside it is bitter cold but it's sunny so you might see the light changing a little bit in the video but i can't help that that's because of the sun outside so i'm going to start with a slip knot if you're a complete beginner, just tie the yarn onto your hook. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to do a chain. So I'm doing a little sample of this on this stitch. So what I'm going to do with it, with my sample, I'm actually going to make a scarf with it. But it's the same stitch as that blanket. And the scarf is just the same, but the blanket is just longer. The stitch is exactly the same. So that's wide enough for my sample. So I've got my sample chain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going into the fourth, the fourth stitch in the chain. And we're going to be doing UK treble crochets. Go into the fourth stitch in the chain. Don't count the loop that's on your hook. One, two, three, and four. Put your hook through, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two loops. So we're going to do a treble crochet all the way to the end. One into each stitch. I told you this is going to be so easy. So one into each stitch all the way to the end. So 
So we've done one treble crochet all the way to the end. We're going to chain two. One, two, and turn your work. Now we're going to do what's called a treble front post stitch. It's a UK treble crochet and we're going around the front of the post. So the stitch, that post part of the stitch, will be in front of your crochet hook. The next stitch, you'll go behind the stitch and it's called a back post treble crochet. So we're doing a front post treble crochet, then a back post treble crochet, then a front post. We're working around that post of the stitch. So yarn over and go around the post of the stitch. Pull up, remember and pull your stitch up. Keep it up to the height as your other, your chain. Now the reason we only did two chain here is by the time you wrap your stitch around the post, it shortens it. So yarn around your hook and in from the back and slide through. So the post of the stitch is on the back here and that's why it's called a back post stitch. Then pull your stitch up and finish your treble crochet. Yarn over and now a front post. Pull your stitch up and then yarn over and go behind. Go behind. Pull your yarn through and remember and pull it up. And the front post. And then a back post all the way along to the end. So there's no stitch count for this. Make your foundation row as long as you want it. And we'll do a front post treble crochet and a back post treble crochet all the way to the end. So my last one is going to be a back post. Make sure you pull it up. Now on the end, this is the three stitches that we skipped right at the beginning when we made the foundation row. So into the top of that you're going to do a treble crochet. Just go into that third stitch and do a treble crochet. Now you're going to chain two, one, two and turn your work. Now right in front of us we've got a front post. I love this stitch. I've done this stitch on quite a lot of the blankets that I've made. Now this one is sticking right to the front so we're going to do a back post stitch, then a front post, then a back post. So the ones that are set to the back they'll get a front post. The ones that are right at the front here, so it's right up there, you can see it's sticking right to the front. You're going to do a back post around that. So in through the back and pull your stitch up and then do your next one you're doing a front post and then you'll do a back post so when you start your next row if you've got a front post treble crochet you'll start with a back post if you have a back post here, you'll start with a front post. So simple. Then carry on your front post, back post, front post. And then a front po a back post. So your back post is going around the one that was a front post on the other row. And then a back post. And that's what staggers this beautiful stitch. A beautiful stitch for any type of yarn. All the way to the end. 
slower stitch is going to be a front post. And then I've got my chain of three here. And I'm going to do a treble crochet into the top of that. It was a chain of two. So into the top of that chain of two, you're going to chain two, one, two, and turn. So it shows you the chain of two stays the same height as your stitch. Keeps your edge nice and straight. And already we're getting that really pretty pattern showing through on the rounds. So now we're going, that's a back post, so we're going to do a front post on that one. And then a back post. And then a front post. All the way to the end. You'll keep doing that row after row. So if you finish this row on a front post, when you turn round, you'll start on a front post. If you finish on a back post, you'll start on a back post. And that's what staggers this stitch. And gives it that really pretty look. So I'm going to do a few rows. Remember, just chain two at the end and turn. And then do your front post and back post all the way along, chain two and turn. I like these hooks, they're quite nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few more rows in this yarn and I'll show you, you can already see that beautiful stitch pattern coming out and I think it's a really nice stitch for men for blankets and hats and scarves for men. That's why I've called it a man blanket. So this is, I've done a few more rows and this is what it looks like. Now I have used this stitch a lot, this front post and back post stitch, but look how pretty it looks. And I think it's a great stitch for doing stuff for men. Men don't want a lot of fussy like patterns the way that, that women like them and I think it's really pretty. It's a very simple front post and back post stitch. It's really pretty in this Aurora yarn. This is Wendy Aurora and it is so pretty done in that. And I'll get my big blanket back. It's, that colour is absolutely beautiful there. I love that one. So I'll get my blanket back and I'll show you my blanket. So that is how you do this stitch. Now I'm doing it this way. Once I've got the blanket finished, the pattern is going to run from side to side. You can do it whatever way you want. So I've done mine really wide so I can turn it sideways like that. I've still got a ball and a half to work into this blanket. It's quite a nice stretchy stitch as well as you can see. Now this is a double knitting yarn and I used a UK 6 millimeter crochet hook. You can use a bigger hook with this. It's quite a dense sort of thick stitch and if you see how wide that goes open, it's a really pretty stitch. It's a really good stitch. It's a nice compact blanket stitch and it's super easy to do. Try it out with different size hooks as well. The bigger the hook, actually the more lacy and open and loose this becomes. It's a wonderful stitch. And also, please, if you haven't already, then please subscribe to my channel. If you click on that subscribe button there, it doesn't cost a penny to subscribe to anyone's YouTube channel. And if you click on the bell icon, then YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So thank you very much for watching. Give this blanket stitch a try. It's really super easy. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.